I would like to request on screen. We have with us Randstad India, represented by none other than its very dynamic managing director and CEO, Paul Dupius. May I please welcome Paul on the screen? A very warm welcome to you. Hi, greetings, Kathy from Bangor. Thanks very much. Glad to be here. We are delighted uh, for you to be here and looking forward to hear from you. Great, thank you. Well, let's get right to it. What a special day this is for all of us as we talk about something that I'm personally very passionate about. It's about purpose and resilience. And this year has been uh, an amazing example of the importance of both of those. So I'd like to share a little bit of uh, background on our journey as well. And I'm just gonna bring up my screen, give me one moment. So if we think about 2020, particularly this year, uh, purpose has become so important. I have the good fortune as the captain of the ship of Randstad here in India to engage with CXOs every day. And what I'm hearing from CXOs in India and beyond is that through this crisis, we've all come to realize that more important than the what is the why. And that's the purpose. We would call it the North Star, why you exist as an organization. And of course, as a leader, as an individual. And so where many of us grew up in a world as leaders where we started our conversations with spreadsheets, with outcomes, we've now completely flipped the paradigm upside down. And we're talking about our people, we're talking about our purpose. In the process, through crisis, there's been the opportunity to also build resilience. I'm gonna talk about that now in terms of how we've done it at Randstad. First, a little bit about Randstad, Randstad here in India. We have 23 locations across the country with 1,200 core employees and more than 60,000 contingent temporary contractual workers. We put 60,000 plus people to work every single day. It's a very important responsibility, especially in times of crisis. And we carry that responsibility guided by our spirit of human forward. In other words, we help people move forward in their lives by helping them arrange and get gainful employment. At the same time, we help organizations grow, especially important in India now, as we are all aiming to get back and get the wheels moving and so on, but to do it in a safe way. Randstad as a company has core values and, and you got to, you talked about walking the talk. I absolutely believe that core values are more than something that's hanging on the wall. Our core values are to know, to serve, to trust, striving for perfection and simultaneous promotion of all interests. Randstad just celebrated our 60th anniversary. We are the original pioneer, the very first company in the world of HR services, now number one in the world. And these core values have been there since day one, and we live and breathe them every single day. It's also a reminder of what's truly important. You see nothing about outcomes on here. We talk about striving, we talk about knowing and serving, the spirit of caring and compassion, empathy is in there. And of course, teamwork with simultaneous promotion of all interests. And we value these, we celebrate these in our organization, and of course, we reward. A little bit about what human forward really means in our story, particularly in terms of this year in 2020. Well, we all experienced something back in March. And I remember I was, I got off the plane from Delhi. Every week I was traveling somewhere in India. And I had just returned from Delhi to Bangor. I was in Bangor airport. And I actually had bumped into on the same flight from Delhi to Bangor, a fellow CXO who I know very well here, a well-known company. And we both said, who knows what's ahead, but it's probably gonna be two or three weeks and we'll be back at it. So stay safe in the meantime. And we said farewell. Well, we look back on it now, we sure learned a lot of lessons. At Randstad, we moved, we made a, a, a clear decision before COVID really started to accelerate in India. We made a clear decision that more important than anything else is the safety of our people. We came back to purpose. Why do we exist? Is it about outcomes or is it about our people? And we made a clear decision as a senior leadership team, it's about our people. So we immediately ordered work from home and that was March 16th. By March 18th, every single employee in Randstad, India, across the country was at home, confirmed safe, connected, and then the engagement began. And then the new world began. And I won't call it the new normal. We're in a new world. So we started by responding, then we moved into recovering. What we quickly learned was it's important to take care of the welfare of our people, particularly in times of crisis, in good times and in bad, but particularly when people are at home and forced to communicate and collaborate through a computer screen. It's a very foreign experience for all of us, me included, by the way. Um, so we started off by focusing on health, physical health, 
physical fitness and so on. All of our leaders came together, created short video clips and advice on, on fitness tips and so on. And then we moved into being kind to your mind because we also quickly realized that we're in a marathon, not a sprint. And we, we could see that this was gonna go on for some time. As a result, we launched this initiative called Be Kind to Your Mind. It's all about we mental wellness for colleagues, loved ones, as well as our contractors, our temporary workers. In fact, we started off by rolling this out only to our core employees. Then we extended this solution, this service, uh, under a, a partnership with Your Dost, which is a wonderful EAP partner here in India. Then we rolled it out to all of our 60,000 plus temporary contractors as well. And again, back to walking the talk. It's not about cost, it's not about investment, it's about caring for your people. We also launched something this year called Randstad Cares. You know, when we went into lockdown, we went into work from remote, work from home, we realized that our customers, our clients, and we have more than 2,500 active clients in India, we knew that they were struggling as well. So we reached out to talk about how we could support. And that was really welcomed by our clients. We weren't there to talk about business. They're our partners. We wanted to talk about how we could support and also how we could learn together. And these were valuable interactions. I spoke to more than 500 CXOs in a very brief period of time and learned a lot. And then we came together to support. We also have something we launched called Randstad with Heart. This is really about helping others become self-reliant. Uh, we, we involved now in supporting the World Bicycle Relief. If you know anything about our uh, headquarters, which is located in Amsterdam in the Netherlands, you'll know that bicycles are a big part of life and they're uh, highly valued in some parts of the world where people have to walk far to go to school, uh, to get access to fresh, clean water and so on. So we've been supporting the World Bicycle Relief. This is part of our 60th anniversary at Randstad. Uh, and we're now supporting, making donations and buying bicycles for those in need around the world. We promote and support our colleagues to be involved in some kind of cause, anything that's connected with helping the world be a better place. And that's a pretty wide definition, but we, uh, we support, again, our colleagues fully to do that. And if the cause speaks to us, then we will also support financially. Personally, one of my causes, if I talk about Randstad with heart, is hockey in the Himalayas. Many who are watching today may not know that in Ladakh, the number one sport is ice hockey in the winter. In fact, just before I went live here right now, I was getting photos and videos from friends in Ladakh, in the very far remote regions of Ladakh. They're on the ice playing ice hockey right now. The lakes are starting to freeze and it's the best time of year for, for the skaters up there. So I've been traveling there every year with colleagues from Randstad as part of Randstad with Heart, as part of Human Forward, volunteering, coaching ice hockey as a Canadian. I'm a, an avid ice hockey player. Also gathering ice hockey equipment from around the world to donate. We've donated well over 2,000 pieces of ice hockey equipment gathered from around the world. And we welcome folks around the world to come. This year we had the minister, former Minister of Sport from Russia join us. Uh, he's also a UN ambassador for climate change and a Stanley Cup ice hockey champion. You can see him there in the bottom left photo, Slava Fetisov. He's the Sachin Tendulkar of ice hockey. He joined us, we gathered with the Indian national ice hockey team and we played an exhibition game to raise awareness of climate change. We also volunteered at Sekmol with Sonam Wanchuk and so on. And we partnered with Oxfam, which is a wonderful organization here in India and globally, which is really focused on protecting the unprotected. Again, one of my own mantras, and I, I, my leaders share this purpose with me, which is life, a full life, is really not only about doing well, it's about doing good. We all need to step up and do something good for the world, especially in times like now where there are so many in need. We launched something this year called Helping India Get Back to Work. Now, this was a global initiative launched by Randstad, ADECO, and Manpower, the top three uh, HR services companies in the world, came together with support from McKinsey. And we raised our hand to lead this initiative in India. So Randstad took the lead, launched this initiative along with my team. We launched this and we've since rolled it out across the country with various sector bodies coming on board. It's an open source document. So anybody who's watching, you're free. We'd be happy to share it with you. It has protocols. It's not only about the physical protocols. It's also about mental health and so on, gathering best practices from around the world. Very proud of this initiative. And at Randstad, we launched an ergonomic benefit. This was back to be kind to your mind. Then we came full circle and we realized it's also important to be kind to your body. And so we launched an ergonomic benefit, helping our colleagues 
be more comfortable at home. We spent a lot of time sitting down. And so we uh, supported them on getting the right equipment so they could stay healthy, be kind to their body as well. And another proud moment for us, of course, was getting Great Place to Work certified. This is a real team effort, a real special moment for us as well. It's a reaffirmation that the things that we're doing, sticking to our purpose, being focused on what we stand for, walking the talk, not just having core values on the wall, but living and breathing them every day and celebrating the people that also walk the talk. That's a testimonial and great place to work was uh, a nice review affirmation of that. We also got ISO certified uh, to uh, also support our commitment to quality. I wanna talk now finally about resilience. You know, resilience is not built in good times. Resilience, also called grit, is built through challenges. And there's a wonderful Japanese proverb. I lived in Japan for 25 years before I moved here to India. There's a Japanese proverb which directly translated says, as the rain falls, the roots grow stronger. I think that we've all become stronger in the process this year. Uh, there's been tragedy along the way. At the same time, we've all been forced to rethink what's really important. And certainly as a leader and my leadership team at Randstad India, We've all come right back to our core values, to our principles, to our purpose, to our North Star. And that's what's kept us strong throughout this crisis and will continue to keep us strong in the days and the weeks and the months ahead. The good news is that we're starting to see some positive indications that we're going to get through this. One thing we do know, though, every crisis eventually comes to an end. It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. The muscles that we've built during this year will carry us forward for many years to come. I'll stop here, Kathy, and hand it back over to you. Thank you. <laughs> wow, that was a swap. But thank you, Paul. I think Randstad has, has had like quite a year, some great initiatives taken forward and wonderful work. I mean, I am truly mesmerized and taken aback by so much good work that has happened for Randstad through the year. Now, before I move forward, Paul, I'd like you to stay with me on this screen. And I would also here like to invite on screen Mr. Sunil Kumar, President, Exchange for Media Group, as well as uh, Mr. Uma Shankar Bharadwaj, Founder and CEO at iAvatar Digital. A very warm welcome to you. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Yeah. Hi, Paul. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. So, I want all of you to stay with me on screen, gentlemen, while now most of you have guessed it we are ready and announcing our first winner of the day in the bw pure awards 2020 less from me more from their own work may i have the winner av please welcome to the monday mantra Today I want to talk to you about something that is especially important right now as we continue to navigate through this crisis. It's something called compassion. We often talk about empathy and actually when you look at the definition of empathy, empathy is a response, it's an emotional response to someone who needs help. But compassion is actually all about action. So let's all find a way to help the person who needs help right now and there are lots of those around us in our lives. Let's show compassion. Hockey in the Himalayas and the last game. In fact, the big group arrives today along with Slava Fetisov and, and the whole crew. We're very excited. One, two, three. Yeah! Congratulations uh, to Randstad India 
for winning the BWP or award. Uh, firstly, I would like to ask uh, Mr. Kumar and uh, Sir both of you to congratulate Paul and then Paul would love to hear a few words. Paul, uh, wonderful. I, I, as Kathy said, it's most impressive the kind of work you're doing. And uh, I'm sure it, it, it can never cost money, uh, but you kind of put your values first, you put your purpose first. You know, I'm happy to see your work with your employees, you work with your customers. Since it's about marketing, uh, the words that uh, these are. So you knew the best time to retain or to work with or to deliver to your customers or to show your commitment to customers is now when they're going to be paying even less money, perhaps. You know? <laughs> Mm. So that, that I, I thought one of the finest things to have done to mm. stay with your customers, tell them, listen, we are there, we are not going anywhere. And I'm glad you didn't talk about how much it cost you because you <laughs> think it didn't cost you. You thought it was like, you know, just the way uh, uh, that, that's what Transtad is about. So we'll do it at any cost, in other words. So wonderful, uh, Paul, and congratulations once again. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, Paul, hi. Uh, congratulations for a wonderful job. And definitely, I gone through. I have listened all the conversation, and you are doing fantastic job. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, congratulations from all of us, Paul. We'd love to hear a few words from you. Well, thank you again, Kathy, and thank you again for your kind comments. Uh, that was a wonderful video, by the way. I had goosebumps watching it. Thank you so much. And I know I have colleagues from across the four corners of Randstad India watching right now. To our colleagues. This is yours. Congratulations. Thank you for I follow him. All, all of Congratulations. Thank you for holding firm. Thank, and thank you for Paul is accepting it on your behalf. Absolutely. This is uh, everyone's everyone's reaffirmation again, recognition for their commitment and reminder just how important purpose is. Purpose is always important in good times and in bad. And we've stuck together through this and I'm so proud of my team. A lot of the initiatives that we just showed earlier were actually, they came from the floor. These were ideas that came from our teams and we welcome new ideas. And of course we take action on them as well, especially when they're about purpose, especially when they're about empathy and compassion. And we will continue to do so. But I wanna savor this moment on this Friday afternoon and thank you all again for this wonderful award. And again, congratulations to all of our colleagues across Randstad India. Congratulations once thank again you. to the whole team also of Randstad India. And yes, it is the weekend. So please do celebrate. Don't forget to celebrate the win. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye.